So, just in the car here, and uh, just having a little talk there. Something that used to really, really uh, hold me back a lot was, uh, I suppose, the fear of being judged um, by others around me. Now, you know, and different types of people, family wasn't so bad, but outside of that, strangers, friends of friends, anything like that, you know, I'd always hold back, I wouldn't be myself. And uh, I find it very difficult to actually say something, um, which is a tough thing because it's a vicious cycle. And, uh, you know, anybody who experiences this sort of thing, you all know that when you're out in certain situations, you can be doing great. And then there might be a lot of silence in the conversation. And next of all, it's this massive pressure. And it's like, you know, the longer the silence, the more the pressure comes on you, which makes it even more difficult to say anything. Um, when I think back to it too, it was really because in my mindset, in my reality at that time, based on the, uh, the programming that was going on in my mind, um, it was purely because I felt I had nothing worthwhile to say. Um, I had nothing of value that the person who was listening to me would, would get from me talking to them. That's, that's really where I was at. And it's quite a tough place to be. Uh, it's a lonely place to be because we all have so much to offer. but. We're all in this sort of a illusion, a uh, false reality that uh, that other people are better than us. And you know, for certain people do certain things. I'm not saying everybody's perfect. I'm not saying everybody's not perfect. I'm just saying, you know, we're all programmed to be different types of people based on our early years. The people who bring us up, how they bring us up, what we experience and how we perceive it. So uh, for me, you know, back to a very young age all the attention went on me and in, in a school class when I actually had an accident of soil myself and uh, around the age of four and a half maybe five years of age uh, it was an incredible thing uh, anxiety just boom straight out and uh, then we triggered again a couple of times later but you know into my early 20s I didn't really couldn't really communicate and um, I missed so much in my life you know but uh, it's like anything I always say that the moment you start to un understand how something works is the moment you can start to uh, see can you fix it so again I would have put a lot of time and effort into understanding my mind in my 20s and a lot of research and reading on hypnosis and so on how the mind works and so on but you know I wish I had I had somebody there to you know just tell me some simple things that no matter what you say or do um, you have every right to say it and you're as good as anybody out there but if your mind has been perceived through experiences in the past that you may be judged there might be a negative consequence coming from what you say or people just don't see you uh, with any value in you you know the truth of it is that's a complete construct it's not even real everybody struggles everybody's suffering everybody has some limitations in their mind based on the program and the life they experience especially in the early years so the first thing I want to say to you is that you know if you allow yourself to be offended by other people's actions. Um, for instance, if you're out with somebody and you've known them a long time and they're you know, the sort of person that, you know, as soon as you talk and they talk over you, no matter what you go to say, they, they interrupt you by saying something. You know, or they're just a little bit rude to you or, they, you know, they might be friendlier to other people and sort of leave you there. You know, it, really what I'm saying is, or any action, you know, a boss maybe that's on your back all the time or a, a lover or a boyfriend or a husband or a wife and you just find that, you know, every time you get to a bit of conflict with them you go off wounded you go off injured you go off with your emotional value way down really what you're doing is you're handing away your power here you're really giving away that power you have and the moment you take it personally the moment you see that this person has done this because i'm no good whatever value you have is gone you know um so there's a really important thing to start thinking about and ask yourself you know would these people treat another me the exact same way as they do treat me and the truth is yes because they don't know any different um, just like I don't know any different you don't know any difference and we do based on our problem what we think is right but that might upset other people that might you know in some way have a negative effect on other people and we're not even aware of it and it's no different for the people that hurt us sometimes they're not even aware of it they don't know any difference but the whole point of this little chat is that the moment you take it personally well, your value goes way down your self-worth goes way down you feel quite down and fed up and hopeful. Maybe even angry or fed up or frustrated. Maybe even empty inside. And then what do we do? We go and we try and distract ourselves from this horrible feeling. And that has many, many, many different forms. You know, you know, comfort eating. You know, drinking too much. Addictions. You know, so many different things we do to get away from who we are. 
So the first thing I want to say to you is, look at those around you, those close to you. You know, think about them. You've known them a long time. And ask yourself, have they ever changed? Or have they always been like that? You know, is it just with you they're like this? Have they just suddenly changed all of a sudden and become a different person? Or is the truth, they've always been this way. That they're probably always going to be that way. And when you see that as being true, you then understand really, really quickly. Nothing they say or do around you is a personal evaluation of you. It's actually a personal evaluation of them. So just remember that. You know, let it go. Don't hold on to it. Don't let somebody upset you or hurt you and walk away with all the emotional damage that's being caused and then go off and dwell on it and let it, you know, manifest in your mind over time. Deal with it there and then see the truth. The truth is, it's not a personal evaluation of you. They're just doing what they normally do. But the moment you give away your power, the moment you take it as a, an insult or a, a hurt toward you, is the moment that you start to lose the game. So again, just hope this uh, has helped you somewhat. And uh, it's the life I live, you know. Um, I don't take anything as a personal evaluation of me. I take it as a personal evaluation of them. Okay, so listen, have a great day. Hope this has helped you somewhat.